Special guest in the studio with me today from the rescue mission, the Binghamton Rescue Mission, our new director, Jessica Stannis is with us. Good morning. Good morning, Doug. Thanks for having me today. It's a pleasure to have you. I've been involved in the event that we're going to talk about for the last couple of years, and I think it's great because this time of year, especially in the winter, we don't have a lot of events like this. We're going to talk about it. It's called the Freeze Out 5K, but before we get into that, tell us about the Binghamton Rescue Mission. Sure. So the Binghamton Rescue Mission was established here in Binghamton in 2010, and we're located right on Whitney Avenue, which is right off of Robinson Street. And so our mission is to really work towards ending hunger and homelessness in our community. So how do we do that? Well, we provide housing for men 18 and older facing homelessness. But more than just a housing program, we also provide food, clothing, transportation to and from work, to and from appointments. Um, And we have a case manager who works with each of the residents in our program to help them set goals and accomplish those goals. We say homeless. There's homeless people in this area. Of course there are. We don't always see that. They're not always that, that visible. And you bring up an interesting point. Yes, homelessness is often um, not visible. It might be couch surfing. It might be under the bridge. It might be um, sleeping out in the parks. And so we're just here as a support system for those who need it. Yeah, it's a great organization. You know, people are homeless for various reasons, but it's nice to have an organization they can fall back on. Tell us if people are interested in finding out more about the Binghamton Rescue Mission, a website or Facebook page. Sure. So they can visit rescuemissionalliance.org. We also have a Facebook page. Just look us up at Binghamton Rescue Mission, or they can contact us via phone. Our phone number is 607-201-1030. And Jessica, sometimes people are, and organizations are in need of supplies or different things. Does your organization need uh, supplies and a donation type? Yes. So we're all always accepting donations used or new. Um, So if someone's interested in donating, we can use blankets, um, pillows, clothing. It really varies. A lot of the men in our program are just appreciative for the support system and the resources. This time of year, too, especially uh, winter coats, maybe, or, or, or warmer clothing as well. Yes. So if they have that to donate, what's the best way to do it? Call you or drop off? The, the... Yep. So either or, they can call us again at 607 201 1030. We always have staff in the building 24 7, so they can also drop off and someone will be there to help them. All right. So let's talk about the Freeze Out 5K. I've been involved the last couple of years with you guys with this. It's a fun event because it's a walk run. I'm not going to tell you too much. I'm going to let Jessica tell you, but it's something very rare for this time of year. It is. Yes, you heard right. So the Freeze Out 5K is right around the corner. It is on Friday, February 23rd at Highland Park in Endwell. Um, And really, it's a great event. It's my first year participating, but the purpose of the event is to bring awareness to homelessness and to the fact that it exists here, right here in our community. Also, the event allows participants to kind of experience the struggles of being outdoors during the winter months. So it is in February, it is going to be cold, um, but it allows them that perspective on Um, you know, the fact that there are people out there experiencing this day in and day out. So how can people get involved in this? How can you get involved? So we have a website that is freezeout5k.com. If you're interested in participating, you can register right online. Um, It's going to be fun. Again, it's it's a run and a walk. So whatever you feel comfortable doing, we have professional runners that attend and we also have walkers. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It is. And there's a lot of things going on. We, when you come back, there's uh, refreshments. They have, there's a lot of raffles. I always get involved in these. There's, you know, you can buy the raffle tickets and put them in the different baskets. And so you have a lot of that too. Yes. So the event starts at 7 p.m. And after the event, we're going to be having an indoor after party. I also like to call it a victory celebration. Um, There's going to be music. Doug, you're going to be joining us again this year. So we're thankful for Mm -hmm. that. We're going to have food. So there's going to be pizza, cookies, bone broth, drinks. It's going to be a lot of fun. And we're having basket raffles. They're really, really awesome this year. We're going to be posting on Facebook as those start coming in. All the proceeds from the event go to a good cause. It goes to the Binghamton Rescue Mission as we work towards ending homelessness in our area. Yeah, and it's a 24-7, 365-day-a-year job because, you know, you're always trying to help people in the community. So uh, get involved. Please do. It's inside Highland Park, so the route is all right there. The run is outdoors, but then you can come back indoors and have some fun, warm up. Um, And again, we're going to have a blast. A lot of people like to run. We have, I see people out here, Jessica, at, I come to work at 630 in the morning and I see people, I don't care if it's snowing out 
or what they're out there running around so we have a lot of uh, running clubs running people that just love to run individually if you're listening and you want to get involved in this it's a good way to get cooled down that's for sure it is it's definitely if you're looking for something fun and challenging to do on a friday night come out and join us Um, we're going to be happy to have you there and uh, we're going to have a blast it's going to be awesome it's the 2018 freeze out 5k for the binghamton rescue mission going to be at highland park on friday february 23rd gets underway at 7 p.m registration can you register online? You can. Yep. yep. You can register. It's freezeout5k.com. You would scroll down, click on the Binghamton Run, and you can register right there. Um, it's register now. And if you're waiting for the last minute, you can swing by and probably register before the race, right? Yes. So we do have registrations happening the day of the race. That starts at 6 p.m. The event starts at 7, and the after party will be right after the run. So freezeout5k.com is the website. They also have a Facebook page. You can check out some of the information there. And we'll have something up on our website, 981thehawk.com as well, with uh, our interview with Jessica. So make sure that uh, you join us. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's for a great cause, the Binghamton Rescue Mission. And if people, again, want to make donations or find out more, what's the best way to reach you? So the best way to reach me is on my phone at 607-793-5742 or via email. That is jessica.stanis, S-T-A-N-I-S at BinghamtonRescueMission.org. And we welcome you to the community as our new director, Jessica. Looking forward to having you with us. Looking forward to the event coming up. Thank you, Doug.